Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Today is episode number three, um, and we have, uh, what's her name? Parvati, Parvati, with us, and we are about to talk to what Ada. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I'm nice. prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Uh Hold on. Uh actually, why am I saying hold on? I've already done everything. All systems are now operating with an acceptable parameters. Shall I take our ship into orbit? Yes, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. Communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Uh, good, I've been waiting to hear from you. Are hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain, horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Uh, I've been a... Oh, nah. that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. <laughs> probably you permanent. The Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists... They can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Oh. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Oh, great. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Ah. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. What is that? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Ooh! It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, 
They're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Great, thanks for telling me this. <laughs> A change of clothes. What is this, some old spy serial? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Huh? Science, that's how. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Uh, okay. Right, so we've got some points available. Um, I'm thinking of turning up the melee damage by a bit. Um, I think we might want to go for some dialogue. Some more on tech, some, and the rest on defense. That seems pretty good. Uh, dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. That's a big word for me. I am not smart enough to understand. Uh, so we have a perk. 20% um, lower. 50% XP. Tactical time dilation recharge rate. Uh, I'm going to go for... Oh, wait. I didn't confirm it. Apply. Yes. Okay, unreliable navigation. Uh, here you can see points of interest. Okay. Um, what is the mission that we're supposed to be doing, though? Glad it's on the groundbreaker. Okay, that makes sense now. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. You've got a minute? Uh, yes, what would you like? I was thinking that maybe I'd ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Yeah, sure, we can Thanks, head over Captain. there now. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, we're going to take Pavati with us. Uh, continue. I wonder if we can take more than one companion, because if we can, that would be amazing. Um, I presume we should be able to. That would be good if we can. Um, one thing I notice is the companions are very much like Fallout 4 companions. I'm surprised the Outer Worlds didn't get shut down by Bethesda. Kind of surprised. But glad. Honestly, the next big game that I can't wait for is the... Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. 
<laughs> so, um... Yeah, I can't wait for Need for Speed Heat, though. It's going to be a really fun game Custom to play. Right this way. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. It shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Oh, dear. Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But, uh, Udom's an, uh, interesting guy. Might be y'all could come to accords if you play your cards right. Huh. Records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Yes? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. <laughs> A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. <laughs> Got it. Much appreciated. <laughs> Let's there go. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, see you around. Be seeing you. Uh, so where I is the, the sick bay? Coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You're hearing things. No. Seriously, there was a lot of static at first. Oh, I nearly stole then. You scared the life out of me then. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. We move cargo for 16 like hours a day and half of us don't have water to bear. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Mana. Hey there. The fence. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to be seeing you. easily just walk into your little hole there. Uh, oh. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Um. This is the security desk, sir. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. Oh no, wonder why. Ah, here we go. Oh, this looks bad. Open fire! I didn't mean to. Right, so we've got uh, Udom over there, and we've got Gladys over here. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Uh, it's somewhere down there. I don't think we're supposed to go back here. Or something tells me we can't go back here. Uh, security is through there. I wonder if it's towards this direction.
Security. No, it's definitely through here. Oh wait, hang on, is this the door? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh gosh, he looks horrible. Rent an upstairs room? Hi, Gladys. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. <laughs> Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Oh yeah, of course I've not got 10,000 well, bits. I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little more of flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion she'll pass a... She sent uh, me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Nice! What on earth is this? Cash register. Right, we need to go over towards here to speak about releasing our ship. Because it is buggered. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastard. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells, he tells me he will soon. I impound his ship, he explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Never mention Wells. Well, that's just terrible news. 
Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Give me all your money! It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. <laughs> We're leaving. My ship is now free! Um... Okay, so what have we got to do now? Terra 2. So we need to go to Terra 2 to do this job. Um, do we have any upgrades at all? Nope. Yay! My ship is free. Who on earth is this? Hey, you got a second? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by, just to take a closer look. Got to hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing. Is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Um, consider this your interview. Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Are you any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. Nice. What's the value of pie? Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust? Maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. Not that. Not no 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 no! Not that kind of pie. Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority; it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Oh, boy. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. You're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. You got a sec? Oh. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that maybe I don't got much... Uh, let's go. Um, what is her name again? Ah, we need to speak to Dr. Dorset in the sick bay.
Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Taste the Are rainbow. You, to me? you can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. Oh, that doesn't count as... Keep hanging around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. Oh. What can I do for you? I'm expecting our... A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Uh, I'll try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla. An asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Yeah, I bet you it is. Uh, let's go back out here. So we've got Captain Irion over here. Ah, here we... Here we go. Uh, this person. Oh, they can both follow us. That's amazing. We need that. Was a time I wanted to be an engineer. I could spend all Hello. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Uh Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So nice. What brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. <laughs> just passing through. Statistics don't lie. <laughs> we see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose-related incident. Uh-huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. Oh, shit. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm always honest around Ms. Tennyson. I'd tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry.
couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. <laughs> now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Um... Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. My engineers have managed to keep the heat to livable levels, but all the fixes are temporary. This wound is bound to fester. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> the board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Uh, is there a way I can help? I... We'd be grateful for your assistance. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Uh... The ship's groaning something fierce, but I can make time for you. Uh, is that the mission in our log thing? So we need to get new parts for the radiator. Transition to back phase. Right, so we'll do this mission and then we'll finish the episode off there. from above approaches our realm back away now or he'll parlay with the king hey i know this guy look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill <laughs> yum yum time to feed the flames it's nothing personal promise first i'm gonna hey felix look everyone it's felix well hey there your lordship Good to see you again. Is this a nice man, a friend of yours, Felix? Seeing you here feels like old times. Now, what brings you down to my sprat infested broom closet of a kingdom? Uh, I'm here for some parts. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back, with the crew. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. <laughs> shit like that. Um, I'm gonna have to attack Thomas, him. Are you out of your mind? I think I heard yes, yes, go, go, go. Let's go! Let's fight! We made it! Here they come! Oh shit! 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 Scrap mechanical! 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 Oh, it's dead. I thought that was like power armor or something like that.
Ace. Run. I feel kind of bad that I had to kill those guys, but I had to. What was that? Come on. Ah, uh, so I just killed your friend. I thought you wouldn't be very happy with me, apparently. Oh, no. Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. Okay, so apparently he's not mad with us. I was expecting him to be like, oh my god, you just killed him. Uh, mainly because I played through the very first mission where we meet... Well, kind of like old buses out for pipes. Um, up for that first time with... Pavati, and we end up killing... Read or something. Uh, just seeing what loot we've got here. Got a load of ammo everywhere. Oh, we found a pristine weapon, I think. That should be good. Transition to Groundbreaker, wherever this is. It's not the best choice, it's Space's choice. Apart from the fact that, grammatically speaking, that means it's bad. It's not the best choice, it's Space's choice. It's not the best choice, it's Space's choice. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened <laughs> to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. We are level 7 as well.
I just stole something. I hope nobody saw that. Somebody saw that. I think somebody saw me steal the thing. The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiators. You don't need to kill the map killers, but I'd be my straight for some dead. Look up this thing about dying in a second. I'm waiting for this! Oh, what the f You okay, Captain? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm good. Many pillars are like caddy pillars. Okay, so those things don't like um, being shot with bullets, apparently. She took my money. I killed your lasers. You can't do shit. Get here, yeah, pleb. Come on. Nice, right, Groundbreaker is sorted out. Right, so, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game lately. Uh, episode 1 still hasn't come out yet. It's not even been uploaded. And it doesn't come out for another, like, three hours. So, that's how much I've actually played this. Um, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did... Please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and if you want to help support the channel then hit that join button, it would mean the world to me, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.